Hi, welcome to the Bio 181 Tutoring Center videos. The topic of today's video is why natural selection cannot make perfect organisms. So a lot of times um, we see in nature uh, organisms that match their environment, but they're not perfectly suited to their environment. If they just had certain things or certain, certain traits, it would be more beneficial. And so why, why can't natural selection make every organism perfectly suited for their environment? And the answer to that question is in these four points. So the first reason is that natural selection only acts on existing variations. So if we think that a certain trait would be more beneficial to an organism, but that trait is not already in the population, then natural selection can't act on it. Natural selection sees, uh, looks at a population basically and says, hmm, this trait is beneficial um, for the organism's survival, and they're more likely to produce offspring this way. So now over time, that trait is going to become more prominent in the population. Uh, it can't just uh, make new alleles spontaneously arise. Uh, mutations will occasionally allow new alleles to arise, so it will be beneficial. However, mutations are rare, and mutations that are going to specifically um, make some benefit for the organism's unique environment are even more rare. So we can only act on what we have. We can only improve um, or work with what we have. We can't just add new stuff to the mix. The second reason is that evolution is limited by historical constraints. So uh, organisms and populations, um, not organisms, but populations have been evolving for um, hundreds and hundreds of years and been having descent with modification. And so evolution is not just going to, uh, or natural selection is not just going to wipe all of those changes clean and start from scratch. It's going to work off of those. So an example is the bat's wings. It may have been advantageous to just completely scratch off um, the, the bat's ancestors' limbs and just develop wings, but they're not just going to scratch off the limbs that has been developing over a thousand years. It's going to adapt those limbs eventually so that they will form wings. And the third reason is that adaptations are compromises. So remember, an organism has thousands and thousands and thousands of traits and alleles that code for um, different things, and they all are working together to um, make ad advantages. And we saw this a lot in our sexual selection. It was sexually, um, uh, in sexual selection, it was advantageous to have these bright colors to attract mates. However, it was also detrimental because um, they were more prone to being um, noticed by predators and thus killed. And so it's a balance of which one is more beneficial, which one are we going to choose for and not choose for. And so we have to make these compromises with adaptation all the time. And the last one is that the the chance and the environment are all interacting with natural selection. So we have lots of chance events that will mess with natural selection. Um, fires or floods um, or storms can move organisms or destroy organisms and so now we have a completely different allele or gene pool and now we have to kind of rework natural selection in with it. Um, and also the environment. Our environments are constantly changing. So what once was beneficial um, is now no longer beneficial and so now the organism has all these, or the populations have these old traits that used to be beneficial and now natural selection is kind of changing them. And so that's why we look at some organisms in their environment and they're not perfect just because it's a constant, um, I guess, battle or it's a dynamic process of what is most beneficial. But the bottom line is that natural selection allows adaptation. It allows better than. Um, having this trait is better than having this trait. Having this trait makes me more likely to survive in uh, this organism. It does not create perfection to the environment. Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope you have a better understanding of why natural selection does not fashion perfect organisms. Thank you for watching.